Franklin County Auditor Michael Stenziano is at your service. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to use the Map Navigation and Tools feature on the Franklin County Auditor's website. We will show many mapping features, including search by intersection, printing and downloading capability, and customizing the map and various parcel level tools. First, go to property.franklincountyauditor.com. Roll over search in the nav bar and select Map Search. You will be taken to a map of Franklin County with a toolbar at the top. Using the map search, we can navigate to a point or search by intersection. Let's start by expanding the map to full screen by clicking the full screen tool from the toolbar. A new window opens with a full screen map. Starting from the left side of the screen, we will step through the basic navigation tools, which work very similar to Google Maps or other map applications. Using the plus or minus buttons in the upper left corner, you can zoom in or out on the center point of the screen. You can also use the zoom features in the toolbar to zoom in on a particular location. For example, select the first magnifying glass to zoom in, then click and drag to draw a rectangle around the area you want to zoom in on. Keep in mind, the smaller you make the rectangle, the more you will zoom in. You can do the same with a second icon to zoom out. The hand icon is the pan tool that allows you to move around the map. Simply click and drag the map to move around. You can also double click anywhere on the map to zoom in. Next is the world icon, which simply pulls you out to the full Franklin County view. This is helpful if you zoom in too far or in the wrong area and want to quickly reset your search to start from the beginning. The forward and back arrows are also helpful if you want to go back to a previous view that you have moved away from. These arrows will toggle through the different views that you have selected. Once you have zoomed in on the area that you would like to view, you can use the Map Contents icon to view the map in different ways. For instance, you can turn on a layer to display the 100-year floodplain, and then adjust the transparency of that layer. You can also turn on the aerial view. Once you are done with what you need to do in that area, you can again use that full extent tool to reset the map to the original view that you started with. Now let's talk about searching by intersection. To search by intersection, enter the intersection in the search box using the street names and the municipality or zip code for the intersection. Here are some examples of what searching an intersection looks like. Numbered streets can be entered in a variety of ways. Street direction can also be abbreviated. Streets can be entered with or without the street extension. Now that we have a general understanding of how to navigate the map, let's look at the different parcel level tools. The GIS Identify tool is used to identify base parcel information. You can either click on the GIS Identify tool, then click a point on the map, or make a selection and then use the GIS Identify tool to view parcel information for all points within a selected area. There are different ways you can select an area. By point, by square, once you've made a selection, you can buffer it to zero in on a more specific area. You could also select parcels within a specified distance utilizing the buffer tool. You can also zoom to the selection. Once you have a parcel or a selection of parcels you want to look into, you can view the results on the map using the GIS Identify tool, or you can view the current list. When viewing the current list, the window will change from the map back to the auditor's website. A list of the parcels you selected will be shown. To return to the map, click the box next to the parcel you want to view and select View List Map under Search Manager on the right side of the screen. If you wish to see your selections in a different way, click the Display Type button to change your view. Finally, you have the option to print your selections on the map, export it, or download a CSV report, which will be downloaded as an Excel spreadsheet. Here's a tip. The map image can be pulled into a report and edited with an image editor. When you are done with your selection, you can either clear them and choose more, or close out your map, which will leave you on the Franklin County Auditor's website to continue your business. Franklin County Auditor Michael Stenziano is at your service. We hope this tutorial has been helpful. You can check out our other tutorials at franklincountyauditor.com.